today on Mythbusters, the blanket parachute gag is put to the test once and for all. Oh, right. And then pass me a blanket, I'm about to dismiss one for all. You can't just start jumping off the building. You gotta, because that would be unsafe. You gotta find a way to scale it down to see if there's like a way that you can feasibly make a parachute out of a blanket. Oh, well, it's fine, man. Alright. How about this little guy, man? We'll time to a parachute and we'll drop them off. Okay, and we should also test a variety of materials so we can see what's the best one to make a parachute out of. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Cancel! Okay, so the key thing to remember about materials is that they're made of fibers. The fibers come in two varieties synthetic and natural. <laughs> synthetic fi no, natural fibers generally come from plants or animals. Well, synthetic fibers tend to come from hydrocarbons. So, for today, we're going to be trying um, the natural fibers are going to be cotton and silk. Ah, ow, ow, ow. Oh, I don't think I want to jump off with a blanket anymore. That's why I thought we'd try thin sheets instead. Okay, so the synthetic materials we're going to use are nylon, rayon, and polyester. Whoever uses nylon should have been, man. Well, maybe they had a tent or something in their closet. Rich. This one's definitely be busted before we start. I don't know. I agree that your average blanket's not going to hold you up. But I think you'd be able to make one with just a little bit of cutting and sewing. Also, if you have enough material, I think pretty much anything will hold you up. But you don't know until we try to... Okay, let's we'll do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is get one meter square of each of our materials, attach it to our toy, and we're going to take them and drop them off to you. As you may know, some toys come with parachutes, typically made of plastic. But we won't be testing that out today. Plastic is just too weak to avoid it before the average of the human which is air. Also, it would be very difficult to not possibly for the average person to sew it together as the stitches will just tear out. Well, it will take more than a garbage bag to keep the library full. Okay, so we're not going to be testing that. So, what's your prediction on the material that's going to perform best? Fine, man. There's a reason why we're all real parachutes. True, real parachutes are made from specially treated nylon. Why don't we get a parachute that works made from cotton? Well, dude, both blankets made from natural materials, wool and cotton, which both aren't ideal for parachutes, and we take that and grab it as much as True, but cotton is probably the most common material in your home. It's most likely to be on hand in the best commercial to jump. But, dude, that, that's the question. Fine, let's get to try it. Alright? So, we gotta compare these materials in a way that's as fair as possible. So of course they're all going to be the same size, but we're also going to be using a similar weave for all of the materials. But other than that, it's going to pretty simple. Um, we're just going to test them out and see what's going to work. So um, John's going to tell you a little bit about the math behind this. Oh, right. So this is the equation that we use to find our velocity. Well, we are actually measured and calculate our velocity. So this is known, and the mass is known, the area is known, and this is constant, which is the density of air. So, and this is the coefficient of drag, which is also constant. So by raising our mass by a factor of A, our terminal velocity would raise by a factor of A to one half. And also, if we raise our area by a factor of B, our terminal velocity would also have to be raised by a factor of b to the negative i half. So this would be our final terminal velocity after we scale it up. So after we get that, so assuming as the, the person small, like as soon as his, his or her feet touch the ground, then they go uniform acceleration as it crouch down. This is what the graph would look like, the velocity time graph. So, I think everyone should be familiar with this equation. And according to the graph, delta p also would equal to 2d over dt. So, we can then replace our original equation 
equal to this, which then gives us a equal to alpha b over 2d over p dt, which will then equal to b squared over 2d. So that's how we're going to calculate our acceleration. And hopefully this does not exceed 10 g or our spin fails. Yeah. Okay. After a fast motion setup, all that remains is to test out the parachutes. Yeah, I mean, that's last update on them. That's it. Yeah. We're done. Looks pretty good, doesn't Finally. it? Finally. Yeah. yeah. Kept having to fish it down from up on the lamp there. Yeah, man, that was not fun. Oh, my arm hurts so much after three and parachute three times. Oh. Alright, so we did about, how many do, like 30 times for each parachute? Um, well, we got four good sets of data, but yeah, probably about 30 in total. We did five trials. We did five materials. Yeah, five materials. And we three sets of data yeah. for each right? Yeah, three sets. Yeah. So 15 trials plus all the ones we bought. That's a, yeah, that's a around 60 trials total, do you think? I thought like 30 throws per <laughs> material match. So it doesn't matter. It was hurt. a lot. My arm hurt. No. All right. We just have to wait for that dad now to come out. I have to do that. <laughs> Finally, all that needs to be done is the final calculations. Yeah. The point here basically is to try to get Logan to balance on the board so that we can find his central point of gravity relative to his feet. Thank you. 